Buenas empanadas, damas y caballeros. You're probably never going to guess where I'm at. I'm in a little town, well, now I'm outside of a little town called San Vicente de Chucuri, and today's adventure is to Cueva de los Aviones. And I've actually had this place on my list for probably about five years, but to get to San Vicente, it's a little bit out of the way. And so I finally made it. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot of potential for, if you like adventure, like going down waterfalls, visiting waterfalls. This is a really great place to do it. So yeah, I'm here for four days, maybe five if I can find a hotel. I didn't learn until after I got here, there was a big ferry, a big festival happening this weekend. So the hotels are a little bit scarce the rooms. So um, yeah, I just came here with my, my guide Anderson and we're gonna get ready to get going and then I'll uh, pick up once we are ready to go. Hello, Dougie. Hello. Hello. Como estas? Como se llama? Aren't you a cute little fella? Or, or female, whatever you are. Aww. You're so friendly. Before we go, let me just show you around. Anderson was just showing me these photos. These are the places that we're going to be going. I'm not going to get too close because yeah, it'll be better once we get there. He's getting me a couple of bags. SOS la Mama de Miguel. She's going to be Maria. She's going to be uh, making cocinando al marzo. Sí. Con el aguacatito. Perfecto. Mi amigo dijo, uh, la aguacate aquí es el mejor en Colombia. Sí. And I haven't tried yet, so this is going to be good. And then they have a little, I guess it's a little restaurant with a gorgeous view. And they do live here. I could handle this. It's like... Oh, might as well show you everything. Baños, I think, or showers, something like that. Changing room, maybe. Ah, oh, here's the baño. Oh, there we go. Baño. And apparently we have another little guide here. El perrito. El perro también es guía. Si. Alright, she just brought some of the, the famous aguacate. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> okay, I'm here with my guide Anderson, and Anderson's going to explain in Espanol what we're going to do today. Anderson. Hola, mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Anderson Guía. Soy guía en la Cueva de los Aviones. Hoy vamos a hacer una actividad con tomas de cañonismo, que es andar un kilómetro por la quebrada La Platanala, haciendo deportes extremos como es el rappel, cañonismo y torrentismo cuando haya que bajar por algunas cascadas. El bueno. recorrido dura aproximadamente tres horas. Vamos a estar todo el tiempo en actividad, así que esperemos que nos vaya muy bien hoy y listo, nos vamos. Okay, let's go. Vamos. So he's just explaining that we're going to be walking about three kilometers. We're going to be, be doing about three hours Hola, worth amigo. of... Uh, Gracias. Gracias. Three hours worth of activities. 
some of it's going to be a little bit of extreme type. We're going to be climbing up some of the waterfalls with a rope and such things. And we're going to uh, Las Piscinas Naturales, the natural springs. So should be fun. Looks like the dog's going to lead the way. So this is the famous Cacao de San Vicente. Best in Colombia, el mejor en Colombia, ¿cierto? Ok, somos San Vicente, capital cacaotera, el pueblo que más produce cacao en, en Colombia. El cacao nosotros le llamamos a eso también mazorca, que es lo que envuelve la vaina, lo que está por dentro de la pepa, el fruto, la nuez, lo que se come y lo que se transforma en chocolate. Te voy a mostrar. Entonces mira que por dentro está la fruta ah, con todas is. las pepitas, puedes coger y comer también. Pues no te la vayas a morder, tampoco a pasar, solamente chupar y la botas otra vez. El, lo que te estás comiendo se llama mosílago del cacao, lo que envuelve la pepa. Mm. De esto sacan unos productos, ahorita se están sacando productos de lo que tú estás comiendo. Se llama la miel del cacao. Sacan vinos, sacan varios productos de esta, de esta parte. Y ya de la pepa, de la almendra ya transformada, secada y tostada, ya sale el chocolate. Mm -hmm. Entonces te quería mostrar eso, si quieres más puedes sí. ir comiendo de bueno. camino y la bota te de, de la... ¿Y por qué es el mejor aquí? Porque la clima, por, la por tierra, el, la, por la montaña. Los dos. La montaña y son cultivos que hay mucho, mucha vegetación, muchos árboles de montaña, de selva. Sí. Entonces eso le da el, el sabor, la textura y ha ganado premios en París. El año pasado se ganó el primer puesto de chocolate en, en el mundo, San Vicente de Chucurí. ¿En ah. el mundo? ¿Es el mejor en el, el mundo? mundo. Es alguna variedad, no todas las variedades. Hay una finca que tiene una variedad especial sí. y es la que ganó ese premio. Uh -huh. Todo esto son clones, han sido clones y clones y clones por años, entonces ya se ha perdido la genética. Ya hay mucha variedad de cacao. Ok, so we're ready to uh, get started on the main pools and waterfalls. There's three down this way apparently and then three up this way. All right we just went for our first little swim in this little area here. I don't know if this is one of the most significant spots or not but as you can see the water is a, a beautiful color and like I said had to uh, I had to do a little swim, which is expected. Water is a little bit cold, but not too bad, not too, not too much of a shock on the system. This is where the birds are. Tabiami is what they're called. going to get interesting if we're uh, sliding down that waterfall. <laughs>
so far this is definitely the coolest spot. In case you're wondering how did we get down here, there are two options. Right in the middle of the screen, basically, you could either just uh, jump into the pool there, where it's nice and deep, but I opted to use the rope and I basically kind of repelled down the waterfall, which is kind of fun. As you can see, this lush, thick, tropical jungle all over the place. photo from back here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright, what do we have in store here? Take another little Oh yeah. Let's go to Azul. Let's go to Azul. Bueno. Y acá vamos a bajar de dos maneras. Primera, de esta forma. Sí. Demonstration. Look how easy you make it look. And <laughs> now watch. He's probably gonna he's gonna come back up. And it'll take him like 10 seconds. Usually that's the way he does it. He does a, does a demonstration for me. And he just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> he just, and he's back up in no time at all. Listo, vamos. Super! <laughs> Try and get you a little different angle over on this side here. But... I know 
know he's going to be watching me closely to make sure I don't do anything stupid here. Very awesome. Are you almost the format again on the left? leaving this really stunning pool and I guess we're heading up to the next area. Listo. Listo. Sí. Ya hicimos lo más difícil de la cueva que era haber llegado hasta este pozo. Esto ya lo habíamos hecho. Este fue el túnel por donde bajamos. Sí. So narrow here. Well, si llega uno a resbalar, no cae abajo al pozo, no pasa nada. <laughs> See, he says if I fall, I'm only going to go under the water. It's not a big deal. Totally okay. true. Doggy is going to find his own way, I guess. Oh yeah. See, the dog's smart. He doesn't even get wet. He just goes right over there. All right, so we're literally going in here. And if I recall correctly, there's a spot where you have to kind of... Oh, maybe not. It's pretty dark in here, but... the last part of the uh, Cueva de los Aviones area. See if it's uh, photo worthy or not, I'm not sure. Once again, more beautiful colored pools.
right, we have emerged to civilization again. And uh, best as I can understand, he's going back to get his motorcycle, I think. And then he's meeting me here, down at the Piscinas Naturales. This appears to be the entrance, so let's go check it out. So, I should probably tell you about the cost of my day excursion. Very, very reasonable. 120,000 pesos. 120 mil pesos for el día. To go to Los Aviones. Cuevas. And La Piscina Naturales. And that also, that 120 includes lunch and muerzo, which that's usually, you know, 12,000 pesos just on its own. Here we are at the piscinas. And he also came into town and picked me up. Right in the Plaza Principal. Very pretty spot here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be warm water. I'm guessing no. And uh, so that's going to also include getting a ride there and back, or here and back, whatever you want to call it. And that was a half an hour of driving along a road. So we're talking about an hour back and forth. As I was saying before, my GoPro decided to turn off. Uh, included the ride here and back, hours worth of time. So, 120,000 pesos is around $35 Canadian, 27 US. So, I mean, you can't can't beat that. $35 for a really nice uh, tour to a super cool location. I think they call this the uh, the spring of eternal youth too. So, if you want to come to Colombia and become younger? Here you go. This is the place. Como les mencioné, mi nombre es Anderson. Soy guía en la cueva de los aviones. Cualquier cosita que necesiten, mi número es 312 46 42 692. También nos pueden encontrar acá en el estadero La Platanala, eh, más conocido como la Cueva de los Aviones. As mentioned, lunch is included. We've got soup, con arroz, rice, limonada, and rice, and that very special aguacate de la área, carne, and papas with a million dollar view. Look at that. Can't beat this. I have all kinds of new friends. <laughs> Miguel just gave me this thing that's apparently made out of cacao. I didn't recognize the word that he said. Something, I think it might be oil out of the cacao, so let's give it a try. I'm not sure if it's going to be sweet or a kind of like a dessert or what the deal is hmm need to try more well it is it's good it's a little bit a little bit sweet definitely got a chocolatey favor flavor obviously it's a little very zesty and tangy though so yeah it's 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 good though I like it all right I just had a great time at the Las Cuevas de los Aviones and I highly recommend that you come here and use the company that I used and Miguel here is the owner of the company he's going to tell you about the options that you have and the prices and his phone number etc so you can uh, get in contact with him Miguel 
Eh, mi nombre es Miguel Ángel, operador turístico en la Cueva de los Aviones y gerente de la empresa Parador Turístico Cueva de los Aviones, RNT 89595. Queremos invitar a todas las personas a vivir una gran experiencia acá en la Cueva de los Aviones en San Vicente, Chucurí, Santander, Colombia. Muchas gracias. All right, damas y caballeros, I'm going to say goodbye. It's been a great day. Uh, the people I've dealt with at this uh, business have been super friendly. Again, Anderson was a great guide. He had lots of patience while I took a whole bunch of photos. So I took a lot longer than most people probably would. So I really appreciate that. So you definitely have to come visit La Cueva de los Aviones here in San Vicente, San Vicente de Chucuri. And there's lots of things to do. He told me there's 32 different sites that you can go to with waterfalls and there's a uh, place you can go to learn how they make the ca cacao and everything. So I think that's going to do it for today. Hope you enjoy the video. Remember, there is no you in Colombia, but hopefully you can come visit this beautiful country someday. Until next time, hasta las tacos. Ciao.